Welcome back everyone to another video and in this one I'm just going to be talking about the downfall of Red Dead Online and um, this online could have been so much more and I just wanted to do a video on it because Red Dead Redemption 2 deserves love and it seems like Rockstar has just forgotten all about it and just giving the game weekly events. But anyway, Red Dead Redemption 2 we know it released back in 2018 and was developed and published by Rockstar Games. The game is set during America 1899. The end of the Wild West era has begun. The story starts after a robbery in Blackwater goes wrong and our protagonist and the Fandling gang are forced to flee. Now that's just the start of the single player story which is an amazing story Rockstar Games told and I could play this story over and over and I'm due another playthrough at some point hopefully if I have time this year. There's so many little details the game has that I didn't even find in my first playthrough or even second playthrough but in this video we are talking about the online of Red Dead Redemption 2 and how Rockstar seems to have just abandoned this amazing title and world they've created. Rockstar called Red Dead Online ever evolving yet it doesn't seem like it is. When Red Dead Online first released it was a beta, lackluster, similar to GTA Online when that first released. A few different types of modes like deathmatches, races etc. Rockstar did release a few content updates just like the beta update which included free new weapons, new free roam events, modes, clothing and gameplay changes. On May 14th 2019 they also released a major content update introducing new story and free roam missions, two new weapons, poker, dynamic events and more. At this point in time, it looks like Red Dead Online had a great future ahead. On September 10th, 2019, another major content update released, which included three new roles, Bounty Hunter, Trader, and Collector, a Battle Pass, which was called the Outlaw Pass, and a few more things. For the Christmas update in 2019, on December 13th, Red Dead Online received another major content update, Moonshiners. This update had a new role, story missions, 4 new weapons and released the Outlaw Pass 2. Now on July 28th 2020 the Naturalist update released which included another new role, 2 new weapons, Outlaw Pass 3 and a few other things. This role was pretty much tracking, hunting and studying animals in Red Dead Online. But after that update it all slowed down. We did get more updates to already released roles like the Bounty Hunter but players wanted more. Red Dead Online could have been so much more and Rockstar seemed to have just forgotten about this game. We get weekly events but surely that's not going to bring players back. Players in Red Dead Online want to be outlaws. Heist. When GTA Online first released Heist that was massive for GTA Online and the same would happen to Red Dead Online if they were to release Heist. We could have the usual bank heist or even a train heist. Now it's obvious Rockstar is putting more focus on GTA 6 and as they should they don't want GTA 6 to fail as this is the most anticipated game ever and they want it to be special for their fans. I just hope that after GTA 6 has released they turn back to Red Dead Online and give it the support it deserves. Start releasing content updates to Red Dead Online and GTA 6 that's what happened at the start of Red Dead Online where they would release updates to both of their games. And what about a 60 FPS patch? Now we know Red Dead Redemption 2 supports 60 FPS and can handle it, but where is it? Even though Red Dead Online can be in a better place than it is now, there's one thing for sure and that is that the single player of Red Dead Redemption 2 is incredible and Rockstar knocked that out of the park and I'm sure GTA 6 is going to be even better than uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 story. I mean they can go even further with the story and of course I'm excited for GTA 6. Who isn't? I'm excited for every Rockstar title as they always push their limits on what the console can achieve with their games. So that's all I wanted to talk about in this video. I just hope Rockstar add more major content updates to Red Dead Online and don't just leave it how it is as there's so much potential for this online version that they could do. But anyway, for more videos, hit the like button, subscribe for more, and hit that notification bell so you do not miss a video. Comment down below how you feel. Do you want Red Dead Online to receive content updates? 
tell me in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video.